What's up y'all, it's your boy the Resale Rookie and today just a basic what's up video. I buy that, flip that, money back that. You look at, laugh at, wish you had that. Alright, so I have about 16 so. So it's gonna be a quick short video. Do we have a bolo for y'all? So pay attention to that. Uh so first of all, I know I haven't been dropping videos like I normally do issue with so my all my videos I've been recording on my phone lately and all my videos have been going to my iCloud so when I go, try to go edit they have to re-download from iCloud before I can edit and then that takes forever and then I finally get all the footage downloaded and it won't let me edit so I'm gonna have to try and figure it out so I'm a little behind on videos so if y'all see stuff that I picked up that y'all already seen me sell, so that's why. So, so the first thing I sold was a Brookstone massager. I picked up at the bins over the weekend, paid around $8 for that because you pay by the pound, and it was, I think it was around six pounds. Yeah, so that sold for $44 plus shipping, so profit on that was around $30. Next, I sold a We Fit balance board. I picked up from the thrift store for around three fifty. Um, it sold for thirty dollars free shipping, so profit on that was only eleven dollars. So I'm running a sale right now, about ten percent off. So I think that's why this next item sold, because I've had it for a while. It's an Xbox power cord. I paid five dollars for that. I picked that up at the liquidation bins on the five dollar day, and I had it listed for around thirty dollars. And I've been dropping it since then. Um, I finally saw that thirteen dollars forty nine cents, and shipping on that was free. So I only made about five dollars on it. But next, I sold these. I haven't this is just so recent, just now. These labels, these Avery labels. I picked these. I also picked these up at the liquidation bins. But I picked these up on the two dollar day. So I've had two dollars into each of them. So that's eight dollars, and um, it's sold for twenty seven ninety nine free shipping. So now uh, that took a little while to sell. So I don't know if I would get those again. Well, I mean for that price and I did get offered and I declined it because I wanted. I think somebody offered me like twenty five for it, but I declined it because I thought I could get more. But that was like a little bit after I listed. So if I took 25 for it, it would have sold pretty fast. Now for the bolo. Uh, this is a phone neck. That's how you say phone neck TV link. I really don't know what this is, honestly. I think you, it says connect your hearing instruments wirelessly to your TV. So I guess you can plug your headphones up to it. Oh wait, let me look at the picture. Let's look at the picture. So I guess you plug your headphones up to this little square thing and then plug the dock to the TV and you can hear wireless kind of like TV ears, I guess. So I picked this up for $7 at the thrift store. I couldn't really find comps for it. I seen comps for the base only for $30 and comps for the little, whatever you, it's called an icon, the square part. So I seen the icon sell for about $50, $50 and the base sell for about 30. So I listed it for $99.99 free shipping and it sold within two days, if that. So. If you find those, pick it up. Even if you just find the base or the icon, they sell and apparently they sell fast and good money. So that's about $70, yeah, about $71 profit on that after shipping and everything. So yeah, that's about it that I have sold. So I'm gonna just end this here. I'm not gonna make this video too long. So thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe. Don't forget when we help each other, we can all win.
All right, y'all, so these envelopes all together, uh, it's pretty expensive to uh, ship. They weigh a little over a pound, so. Shipping on it is coming up to around 10 bucks, and I have free shipping on it, so I got I save some money. So what I did, got a padded fat right envelope. So far, I have three in here. Let's see if I can fit the fourth, the last one in. Pray, pray y'all. Pray that this fits in. Because if it fits in, shipping on this is going to be $7.52 instead of $10. This is the last one. It's going to be a tight fit if it does fit. Oh no. Oh no. I don't think it's going to fit y'all. Let me try. Perfect. That's just that there. Put this label and get shit. Seven fifty two. These, this is. I think the padded flat rate envelopes are the only thing I use from USPS. Cause everything else, cause everything else I can't find a use for. But these padded flat rates. Oh, and the regional A in re mainly I mainly use regional regional A's in these padded flat rates because they always save me. But all right, I just wanted to show y'all that. All right, guys, a couple more things. A few things just things just started selling all of a sudden. So one of these Brita stream filters. So you can see I paid fifteen bucks for it in the Walmart clearance. So originally when I bought these, I would check comps and they were going for close to $40. So I bought a few of them. And when I went to list it, I didn't realize that these weren't the right models. These weren't the same versions I was selling for that amount. Um, there's a version with the picture of Steph Curry on front. Those were the ones I was selling for almost forty dollars. These were just selling for like twenty twenty five. So I just been just trying to break even on these. I typically had sold the last few for around twenty five, so I made a little bit of a profit. This one I took twenty because I've had it for a long time. I had two left, so I took twenty for this profit on that's gonna be like eighty cents, something like that. Not much. I'm just happy to get rid of it and break even, get my money back. Because that was a big mistake. Speaking of mistakes, um, the Wii board I, I said I sold. So if you watch my Goodwill Bins video, you would see that I picked up a couple of those. So that cost me money because I messed up. When you have a heavy items, I know I said this in that video, but when you have heavy items, make sure you show the cashier so they can give you a base uh a flat rate and not by weight because those wee boards weigh almost nine pounds like around nine pounds so nine pounds i'm paying around 16 bucks each so um so far i've been having some sales from there so because of that mistake, I might just be breaking, I don't think I would just be breaking even on um, that the whole purchase, but uh, I'm not making as much profit as I should have made. But as long as I break even and I didn't lose any money, I'll be fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. So, speaking of the Google bins, I also sold this HP, I believe it's a printer cord I picked this up at the bins this weighs almost nothing so I don't have much into it so for $11 free shipping I picked up a bunch of those type of cords because I figured they don't weigh nothing so I might as well even though it's not much of a profit just something you know so learn from my mistakes make sure when you check comps you look at everything and make sure you you're buying exactly what you're checking the comps for and 
when you go to the Goodwill bins, if you have something heavy, make sure you don't. You know what? I done it a few times because I bought a VCR from there, I believe, and I didn't take it out. That's why my uh, the total came up to like ninety nine dollars because of those Wii boards. Otherwise, just take those off. That'd be around sixty. Like what I was planning to spend around sixty bucks. So yeah, make sure y'all learn from my mistakes. Yeah, so that's it. Thanks for all for watching. Don't learn from me. Don't make the same mistakes I do. And yeah. Get them profits. Peace. Say you got the same dreams. You ain't gonna touch them if you sitting there doing nothing better. Get to hustle. I never hashtag.